check out the first find of the day, the size of this seal salamander. This is amazing. I'm so excited to show you a bunch of stuff. Welcome to Birmingham, Alabama. Well, this is excellent. This is a huge seal salamander, and it's kind of hard to see, but if you look behind the eye, there's a line that extends to the back of the jaw. And this is one of the main field marks for the uh, Desmoganthus uh, genus. And so that really limits the number of things that this could be, but just based off of the size and the very sort of simple but little spotted pattern uh, and a pointed pointed face makes me think that this is a seal salamander. They're one of the bigger uh, salamanders in the genus. And so just excellent to see. Really amazing. And I'll just give you a little quick peek. Like we're, it was under this rock, so not where the, the stream was, but you can find them in stream, certainly. Um, and this little creek flows up through the, through the scenery there. Hopefully that won't swim away, but you can see there's a really big tadpole there. And I think they're, Maybe just one. Um, yeah, right there. This is, oh, there it goes. Over there, you can see it's got legs. Uh, I don't really know my tadpoles, so I'm not sure what it is, but it is pretty big, definitely a frog. Um, and there were a couple more swimming around. Not sure if we'll, we'll spot any. There's some fish in here too. But yeah, nice to see that, uh, that big, um, that big tadpole. It does look like it's forming uh, dorsolateral ridges. And so if I had a guess, I'd say maybe this is a green frog. But like I said, I don't know my tadpoles well, so not sure. Well, I'm not sure exactly what swam off. It looked, ah, look at that. So that was really cool. That was a southern two-line salamander. It was really hard to make out, but you can see the faint sort of pattern on it, the two lines in the back and the speckles uh, in between. So I'm pretty confident that was a southern two-line salamander, a great uh, find for today, and uh, just really cool because they're aquatic breeders. So, you know, back, back at home, like the slender salamanders, you don't find uh, deep in water like this. Um, but of course, these are different species, a different genus, and um, and so they're going to have, the, the, the southern two-line salamanders are going to have their aquatic phase because they breed uh, in areas like this. All right, there we go. I caught one. And you can see it even still has uh, its little gills there because uh, they're breeding aquatic. But you can see that dark outline uh, on each side of it is really what's making me think that this is the aquatic form of a southern two-line salamander. Uh, yeah, those gills are really cool. Um, this is the first time I've seen an aquatic form of this. Usually we find the adults, but excellent. Check it out. We found one more, one more of these uh, southern two lines to join the party. And, and really all I'm doing is like looking through, I'll just show you the habitat a little bit, right? We're in this nice creek. There's lots of rocks down here. And all I did is I started flipping them over um, and, and that's, uh, they were hanging out um, both under some of the rocks and actually in the, the open space. It seemed like they were being a little, a little active. Um, the first one I spotted was actually before I even flipped a single rock. So, but that might be all that's here, but excellent. Oh, <laughs> here we go. Here's another one right there. So three here. Nice. Well, I'm going to let those guys join their buddy and uh, we will uh, continue on our way and see what else we can find. Check it out right there. That is an adult southern two-line salamander. Here you go. It says sticking out there. Much more vibrant colors. Much better than, uh, much better looking, much brighter, more vivid than the and the larval ones we saw before. And you can see like, yeah, no gills on this guy. Here is a Southern two line Salamander. We saw these already, um, but this is a really good looking specimen. Um, easy to see the field marks, you know, two lines, one on each side, little speckles along the top too. So nice to see him, but we'll let him get back to doing Salamander things. 
Oh, sweet. Look at the size of this leopard frog. All right, here is a huge leopard frog that I just fished out. Wait a second. Is this a leopard frog or something else? Even spots. Yeah, a leopard frog, leopard frog. I wasn't sure if it was a pickerel frog for a second. See that white dot in the eardrum there? Another good signal for um, the southern variety of leopard frog. So, very cool to see. Well, that's all we saw on the surface. But be sure to subscribe to see our all-new adventure next week where we go underground. I'm Greg Schechter. This is Schechter Natural History, and I'll see you in the field.